Hi, welcome to this channel and thanks for joining me on this new video of non-finite forms of verb. We will learn non-finite forms of the verb today. In this lesson friends, you will learn all the details about non-finite forms of the verb. You will get an exercise at the last. You have to solve the exercise and I will tell you the answers later on. Let's begin. Let's study verb morphology first. English verbs can be categorized in a number of different ways. On the basis of their function, in the verb phrase, we can distinguish between main verbs and auxiliaries. Auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs. Main verbs. We can recognize five different forms of the main verb. The base form, the present participle, the present tense, the past participle, and the past tense. Like, go, goes, going, went, gone. So these are the five examples we can categorize with participles in main forms of the verb. Now let's study finite verbs. Finite verbs are governed by the person and number of the subject. Examples, I'm driving down the lane. Vandana drives the co to college. They drive very fast. In all these sentences, friends, the verb drive is governed by the person and the number of the subjects. I, Vandana, and they respectively. So in all these sentences, friends, the verb drive is changing according to the subjects. That is called finite verb. So finite verbs are those forms of verbs which are changed according to the subjects. Now let's see non-finite verbs. They do not change their form even when the person and the number of the subject changes. They are used with prefix to. Examples, I want to eat something delicious. Vandana has to eat apples every day. They want to eat eggs for breakfast. So in all these sentences, friends, the verb eat does not change, even though the person and the number of the subject change. So the basic difference between finite and non-finite verb is finite verb changes as per the subject, whereas Non-finite verbs are used with prefixes to and they don't change according to the subject. They remain the same whereas the subject changes. Which are the non-finite forms of the verb in English? The infinitive, the participles, the gerund. Now let's study these forms of verb, verbs one by one. Non-finite verbs are of three kinds. Jirin, the ing form of the verb, which, are, which is used as a noun, as, is called as jirin. Basically, jirins are the forms of uh, ing forms of the verb, which are used as a noun and verb both. Now you can see this example. Swimming is a good exercise. Mary likes swimming. So in the first sentence, friends, swimming is working as a noun whereas in second sentence swimming is working as a verb so jirin is a form of uh, ing form of verb which used as a noun and verb both infinite infinite is the base form of the verb it is often used with to or without to infinitives with to before them are called two infinitives examples David and I agreed to meet at 4 o'clock. I'll arrange to see the dentist straight away. So, to meet and to see are called finite or infinitives. They are also called two infinitives because we have used prefix as a two. Now, participle. There are two kinds of participles. Present participles are formed by adding ing to the base verb. Example, I have been reading. So we can use present participles by using ing with the root form of the verb 
whereas past participles are formed by adding d e d e n t n to the base form example i have worked so we have used ed with work that that has become worked non finite verb forms let's see what are non finite verb forms the infinitive the ing participle and the gerund express the verbal categories of aspect and voice their grammatical paradigms comprise different forms the infinitive there are two types of infinitive the two infinitive and the bare infinitive the two infinitive like to eat to go to play whereas bare infinitives are without to like worked talked when do we use the infinitive with to when do we use the infinitive without to now look at the sentence these sentences will you leave on monday so it's a bare infinitive we have one we haven't used to over here they are they asked him to leave this is called to infinitive we leave as soon as i find the tickets present tense not third person singular subject it's a present tense but it's not third person singular leave the room immediately so these are the some examples of infinitive and bare infinitive it is used after the following verbs like see hear feel watch make let bid example i heard her speak to her son i swim i saw him enter the house they made us believe their words he let him he let them go to the expedition it is used after modal verbs the infinitive now let's see in active and passive voice we can use them simple to speak to be speaking to have spoken to have been speaking in passive forms to be spoken to be speaking to have been spoken and to have been have been being spoken so this is how we can use these infinitive role in the sentence the present infinitive the subject example to confess immediately would be best so here the subject the present infinitive is used as a subject to confess the present infinitive as an adverbial adverbial modifier at the beginning or at the end of the sentence we drank wine to relieve the boredom so here we drank wine to relieve the boredom now it is used as a object at the end of the sentence which modifies the adverbial modifier clause present infinitive has the function of the object i don't want you to leave me so here me is the object or to leave is the present present infinitive the continuous infinitive is used when we want to show the continuation of the action expressed by the infinitive he is thought to be hiding in mexico so here it's a continuation action that's why we are we have using we have used to be hiding the present uh, the perfect infinitive is used with can't could not must may should could would like etc he cannot have lifted the box she may have turned up i could have crossed that river the present participle the present participle is formed by adding the suffix ing to the base form of the verb if the vowel of the last syllable in the stem is short and stressed a single final consonant is, is doubled like forget forgetting wrap wrapping beg begging so here first syllable last syllable is short that's why we have to double the consonant run running jirin 
the paradigm of the gerund coincides formally with the paradigm of the ing participle as you know that gerunds are ing form of verb and noun both so the gerund can be used as a subject or object of the sentence let's see how reading is useful many people enjoy reading so reading is acting as a noun in the first sentence and in the latter one it is used as a verb so that's how the gerund behaves the gerund can function as a complement of a preposition let's see she is fond of climbing so climbing is a gerund which is a complement of uh, of preposition he was hopeless at writing letters so at is a preposition writing is a gerund over here so sometimes gerund act as a complement of prepositions now there is an exercise on your screen you have to select the correct form of infinitive or bare infinitive as per the mood of the sentence i'll tell you the answers later on you have to read the sentences carefully and put the correct form of the verb in the sentence to make a meaningful sentence it may be infinitive or it may be bare infinitive as well Now let's look at the answers. Do you fancy learning to ice skate? We always look forward to going on holiday. Josh's pa parents promise to buy him a bike for his birthday. Mary pretends to be ill because she doesn't want to work. Sam suggested meeting at the station. You never offer to make dinner. they decided to watch a film i don't spend a lot of time playing computer games so these are the answers friends you can also stop the video and look at the questions and answers and solve the exercises i hope you have understood the concept of infinitive forms of verbs and the whole information about it thanks for watching this video friends if you are new to my channel do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get latest informations of updated videos on your screen have a nice day bye bye see you soon